Well, thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Liz DeWicke. So we begin tonight with this newly obtained video here from a confrontation involving El Paso police and a man who died after he was taken into police custody. KFOX 14 News at 9's Eileen Herrera spoke to the viewers who recorded that video we just showed you here. Eileen, good evening. What did they tell you? Viewers Abby and Yasmin Alvarado say they were just looking for a restaurant when they saw El Paso police arrest a man near Alameda and Zavala Street, adding that they were surprised to see the situation unfold. Yeah, seeing that many cops on top of just one person yeah. trying to control the situation. I think there's better ways to arrest someone and not just like be on top of someone. In the video, you can see a man wearing a red t-shirt and shorts running from police until he falls to the ground. A few moments later, police can be seen hitting the man and one of the officers appears to stomp on his hand. They're all just like on top of him and kicking him. They started, I think they started kicking his, his hand. His hand. They started his stomping hand and, on him. And the hand. Surveillance video also caught part of that incident. Witnesses say multiple police officers arrived at the scene after the man was already on the floor. I'd say there was like over like 15 cops on scene, yeah. including the ambulance and the firefighters. We have reached out to police and they say they have no new information to share about the incident, but released this information just yesterday. Officers say that around Sunday afternoon, multiple officers responded to reports of a man walking in and out of traffic on Alameda near San Marcial and Estrella Street. Police say he was taken into custody and then taken to the hospital where he later died. Sisters Abby and Yasmin say although they don't know what led to the heavy police presence, they don't think the arrest method was necessary. I personally think that it was excessive force on behalf of the cop side. I do see that they're doing their job, but um, it's because we, we don't know. We don't know what's going on on, on the head of, of the guy and what's going on on, on the police head. We have sent over questions about the details surrounding the men's arrest to police. You can count on us to keep you updated on any new information that comes to light both on air and online at kfoxtv.com. I'm reporting live in South Central El Paso tonight. Eileen Herrera, KFOX 14 News at 9.